One of the greatest problems we have in our society today, at least in the United States, and I'm sure it's probably a worldwide problem, is stress. And uh, it's something that is just not unique to our time. Jesus spoke of it often in the, the New Testament. He had to remind his disciples that, that they didn't need to worry about a lot of things because he was going to take care of it. Uh, when Paul came along and he wrote most of the New Testament, he mentioned that, that uh, stress was a real problem among Christians and among people that gathered together and, and uh, shared uh, their lives with each other. And he told them this in Philippians 4, 5, and 7, Be anxious, or do not stress out, do not worry for anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Now, today, you and I live in a world where stress is certainly a, a, big, a big thing going on throughout the world. Uh, some medical studies have shown that almost 90% of all visits to the primary care physicians has something to do with stress. Uh, nearly 50% of all work-related uh, turnovers is due to stress. Other things that, affect, that are affected by stress is divorce, suicide, murders, crime in general. A lot of that has to do with stress. Now you would think, as Christians, uh, we have God as our Father, we have the Holy Spirit as our guide, we have the Lord Jesus as our Savior who has forgiven us of all our sin, that our stress level would be much lower than the general population. But I can tell you that that's not necessarily true because I deal with people every week that are <coughs> suffering from some type of, of stress in their life. And I just attended a... A, a seminar with a bunch of other pastors and over a hundred pastors and one of the topics in that discussion was the stress that's related to to pastors ministering to other people and all the uh, the burdens and the cares of, that a pastor might experience and how that stresses them out. So I want to just take this service and maybe another service and just talk to you a little bit about uh, about dealing with this because it was important to the Lord to talk to his disciples about it. It was important to Paul to talk to the new Christians about it. it is, it's important uh, today that we understand that, that uh, the stress that we have is uh, we're not weird or we're not, it's not just us uh, that have a problem but that this is a problem that we can deal with and that we can uh, we can uh, cope with and we can have less of. Now I doubt that seriously we'll ever get rid of all the stress in our, in our lives, but we can get rid of a lot of it uh, by just using some spiritual principles and using some uh, strategies uh, to help us to, to deal and cope with, with stress. Well, let me say this first of all, that, that it's not God's will that you have a lot of stress in your life. I mean, that's not what He wants for you. Uh, Jesus said, do not worry about tomorrow in Matthew 6, 34. Uh, well, a lot of our stress comes from worrying about tomorrow, doesn't it? What are we going to do tomorrow with this bill? Or what are we going to do tomorrow with this uh, crisis, uh, this drama in our family, or this crisis in our family? What are we going to do? In John 14, 1, he said, let not your heart be troubled. Again, another way to say, uh, don't allow stress to control your life. In John 10, 10, he said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I've come that you might have a happy life, a joyful life, a life uh, of, of peace. I've come that you might have that. So if that is God's will for us, then why is it that we, we seem to be, it, uh, we, we uh, are, have a lot of stress in our life? Why is that? Well, I'm going to tell you that it's, uh, there's a lot of causes for stress. There's a lot of causes, and I want to talk to you a little bit about that, and then give you a few strategies this week about how to deal with stress. And then next week, I want to talk to you about 
uh, either how to avoid or how to eliminate a lot of this stuff in your life. And uh, But today I just want to talk to you about stress in general and what what it is and what it, what it causes. And again, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I do want you to know that God's Word is full of, uh, of, of verses that encourage you and I to live a happy life. Yes. And stress is one of those things that keeps it from us. Let me tell you this, first of all, one of the things that causes uh, stress sometimes is out of our control. Most of it is in with it is within our control, but sometimes our body gets out of sync, and with our uh, with our minds, and uh, this can be the result of a chemical imbalance. It can be the result of lack of rest. We we're just wore out. It could be that that uh, we're we're uh, on a wrong diet. We're eating a lot of things that that cause us to be be hyper and ha and have. Uh, uh, reactions to certain type of foods. These, these type of studies have been doing, done over and over again. Well, God has given us the miracle of modern medicine and doctors today to, to help us uh, in extreme cases to deal with this kind of thing. And, and so people uh, that, that feel like they have lost control of their ability to deal with stress and their ability to, to uh, handle life in general, they need to go and, and visit a doctor. They certainly need to be in church. They certainly need to be praying. They certainly need to be getting spiritual counsel. But uh, it's nothing wrong with going to a doctor, a psychiatrist, a psychologist. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a lack of faith. It's not a, uh, uh, a weakness. It's a medical condition. So if you or other people are, uh, uh, that you deal with and family members are suffering from uh, uh, extreme stress, they need to see medical, get medical attention. Many of our military men and women that come back from overseas and that have been in battle situations, uh, they suffer uh, from a, a stress disorder, and and they're they're uh, they need counseling and they need direction to help them uh, deal with the, with the, the problems, because many times things in our our minds uh, we 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 we. Uh, do not know, we don't have the information and in how to deal with it. And God wants to give that to us today. And so I want to just talk to you about how Jesus and uh, his disciples and how he dealt with, with stress. And of course, I don't think the Lord was stressed too much about uh, uh, anything except that he wanted to do the will of his Heavenly Father. I mean, he knew before his birth, uh, when he was in heaven, that he was going to have to go down the cross. Uh, at the age of, of uh, 33. Now, how would you feel if, if, you know, at the age of 10 or 11 or 12, you already knew that you was only going to live to be 30, three years old? You know, that would probably cause a lot of stress in your life. But Jesus often mentioned to his disciples, he mentioned to others, he said, you know, uh, I've come, I, I know what my purpose is, and I've come to die for the sins of my people and, and those that love me. Well, one of the biggest problems that causes stress that, that I'm aware of and that I've experienced in my life is that uh, we have forgot uh, to, to just live life. We have just forgot to, uh, we're so busy with life, we've forgotten how to live our lives. You know, we often think back to the good old days at Grandma's house and, and uh, at our Grandpa's house where Things seemed just, especially as when we were kids, we were playing in the yard and, and everything, you know, we, we could smell the, the biscuits cooking or the pies baking and uh, we were playing in the yard and we, we could just have a great time uh, as children. Uh, and we, we played from uh, the time we got up in the morning till the time we, we went to bed that night. We were out playing with our cousins, our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors, and we just enjoyed our life. And I realize today things are a lot different because we can't even let our children go outside and play uh, without watching them because of the, the crime and the, the different things that go on out in our, uh, the world. But still, we have forgotten how to live and enjoy life. Don't get so caught up in, in the hustle and bustle of life that you 
forget to take care of your own needs. And one of your needs is relaxation and just learning how to relax. Uh, it's God's will for you to be happy. In John 15, 11, it says, These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full.